Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to take a look at this awesome, super spectacular balance patch. And at the top of the list, we have Wind Sky Surfer, Mega Impulse Gun, Max Cooldown Increased by One Turn. Interesting, so this is a nerf. Also, when attacking on your turn, increases damage dealt to the enemy by 20% each up to 100%. And it's going to be changed to increases damage dealt to the enemy by 10% each up to 50%. So, the Wind Sky Surfer, I believe that's Oliver, the one with the 33% speed lead. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. So, we have the Water Mage. Woo -hoo! Water Mage interesting nana let's see what do we have here when an ally is revived revives with 40 percent else and is now changed to 25 percent else so first it was 60 percent then it was 40 percent and now it's 25 that is great news <laughs> oh my god like i'm sure this monster is not gonna be on ad as much as she was but then this is great news for me i wanted a water mage from the nat 5 event but i couldn't get it so i'm happy it's nerfed next we have the fire weapon master collect weapons let's see if it's a nerf or a buff when an enemy dies it increases your attack power by 75 percent and increases your attack power by the dead targets base attack power so it's now being changed to when an enemy or an ally dies so that right there is in itself is kind of a buff because now it works on allies. Increase your attack power by 75% and increases your attack power by the, the dead target's attack base power. That makes sense because if you look at it this way, guys, I mean, if the enemy, let's say you're in a guild war situation and you're using this monster and, and one enemy dies, right? There's no sense like the attack bar increase should be something to save you from losing so if it is that you're already going to win then what's the point of getting the attack bar you understand so now when allies die you get the attack bar as well pretty nice then we have the water weapon master unlimited power so attacks all enemies so what it was before is attacks all enemies if there are three or more enemies and attacks the selected target six times if there are less than three enemies the damage increases according to the num the, 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 I butchered that according to the enemy's max HP and this attack decreases the enemy's attack speed for two turns. So now it's attack all enemies and stun. Very nice. For one turn if there are four or more enemies. Okay. So there's a condition to it. The damage increases the higher the enemy's current HP. Attacks the target selected target six times. I don't know. I, this this i don't know if this is a nerf or buff there's too much information so i'm gonna skip that so weapon wind wind master improvisation your attack power increases as your hp decreases and attacks additionally when attacking an enemy on your turn the attack deals damage proportionate to your max hp if their hp exceeds 50 percent and recovers hp equal to the damage dealt if it's 50 percent or below like you see monsters that usually have long descriptions some of the times most of the times they are not good so let's see what is going to be changed to your attack power increases as your hp decreases and attacks additionally damage equal to 300 percent of your attack power when attacking an enemy okay that seems like a buff the attack absorbs the enemy's attack bar by 30% if your HP exceeds 50% and recovers HP. Like, like this 50% and if, 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 a lot of ifs going on right here. So, this is a monster. This is just another monster that's going to get destroyed by violent prox. So, let's move on to the next one. Omniuji. Fire, wind and dark. Karma. Increases your attack bar by 100% after using a skill very nice very nice it's not amazing but it's well needed especially for the fire and wind i don't know about the dark but it's especially needed for the fire and wind increase your attack bar so it's almost like a guaranteed violent proc and i believe with fully skilled up she has a two turn or three turn cooldown i don't remember 
Anyways, Omniuji Fire, Yin Yang Bounded Circle. I did a video on her the other day. Increases armful effects granted on all enemies by one turn each. Armful effects applied to the selected enemy target are equally granted on all enemies. Very nice. That is very nice. So, armful effects applied to the selected enemy target. So, if she lands an armful effect, so she can potentially be an AoE armor breaker. Is that what this is saying? But I don't recall her doing armor break though. But we shall see. I think she does armor break and stun. No, it's the third skill, so it won't apply yet. But either way. Water Omniuji. Why did she need a buff? The last time I checked, she's strong. Grants all beneficial effects to all allies for one turn. Grants all beneficial to all allies for two turns. Oh. Grants all beneficial effects to all allies. Wait. Is this all things in nature? Is this the thing where it swaps that swaps the buff or thing like that? I mean, okay. Beast monk. I pulled two beast monks the other day. I haven't ruined them. I haven't built them as yet. So this is nice. So beast monk all crushing blow. When a critical hit lands, increases your attack speed for two turns, removes a beneficial effect from the target. So effect change. So it no longer they're no longer getting attack speed increase. They're slowly seeping in more and more monsters to strip like i don't know if the people working at come to us are strippers or something but like this means less things that i can one shot with with my calling my Katarina, and my covenant because of strip removes a beneficial effect from the enemy target like seriously why i mean okay okay water wind light dark awaken crushing blow uh okay was this repetition it's the same thing removes the beneficial effect it seems like i don't know why i think oh i'm not sure why they did that because that's repetition right there earlier they said that all beast monks would have gotten crushing blow i'm thinking i don't know i'm thinking what it's saying is that i don't know i don't know fire beast monk removes okay interesting so the fire beast monk is gonna be a little bit different so he's gonna remove everything from the enemy target interesting interesting beast rider fire now i read this earlier like this is a major change to masha i'm pretty sure it's gonna be easier to speed you now so before she attack bar increase in skill effect granted on yourself increases by 50 percent and the attack bar yeah we already know what masha does so gains immunity for one turn and decreases the effect of the attack bar decreasing skills if you from the enemy by 50 percent when you attack on your turn so basically she's gonna get immunity every time she attacks is that what that's because it's a passive this is really good every time she attacks she's gonna get immunity so it's almost gonna be like the fire paladin of philly i believe so so what really changed is that before she would gain if you use if you use an attack bar increase in skill monster like bastet or verda heal she'll get 50 percent of that now that completely is removed and it's gonna be replaced with immunity i like that better that's sugoi i think this is a buff because sometimes it's hard to speed tune beast rider and to me it, it just makes her hard to work so i i think that's a buff i have a marsh and i use her regularly and i'm saying that she, that's a buff water demon repeated nightmare glancing it does not occur when you attack like whenever you hear glancing it does not occur it's always a good thing repeated nightmare interesting so an aoe nuke that doesn't glance is that what this is saying so put side on us competition then we have chimera dark forbidden power forbidden power removes a beneficial effect from the enemy target if you get a critical hit okay uh that's that's not that that means I can't use alphas to counter the dark chimera anymore. That's not that's I'm not appreciating that, but okay. Then we have the fire chimera. 
Oh man, I wonder how many times this one is gonna get buffed. Provokes all enemies, provokes all enemies for one turn, excluding the enemy target attacked on your turn. Well then. Well then. Okay. Okay. I mean, I think he's one of the weakest of the Chimera. Okay, great, great. Because the Collapse doesn't proc as much, so that's nice. Desert Fire Queen, Charming Voice, cooldown reduced by one turn, so that's a buff to she. Desert Queen, Line, Light, Gaze of the Oblivion, okay, LD users out there with a Light Desert Queen, you got a small buff. And for me, I got Frost Rush for my Water Polar Queen. Freeze chance increases from 15 to 25%, I'm happy for that, that's great news for me, a small buff here and there. For Alicia then we have the wind Phoenix tempest I did a video on her the other day stuns all enemies for one turn interesting when come to us word it like these stuns all enemies for one turn that already tells me that this is a 100% activation rate the only thing that less is a, a accuracy resistance check this is nice this is nice this is nice we have the Wind Pioneer, Lightning of Cycle. Cannot be revived if the enemy target dies from the first attack. Okay, that's pretty nice. Then we have the Fire Pioneer, Sleeve Attack. Decreases the attack bar of all allies by 15% each and additionally decreases the attack bar by 15% each per harmful effect removed. So it's gonna be changed to absorbs the attack bar of all enemies by 15% each and additional absorbs. Okay, okay, so it's a small buff. So instead of decreasing, he's going to absorb it. So you'll, the enemy will still lose attack bars, but now he's, now he's going to get that attack bar. That's nice. Then we have the Dark Anubis, Deadly Wrath. So it's gonna change from 1 hit to 2 hit. Total damage unchanged, so it's a multi hitter. Okay, and then we have resets the cooldown of Deadly Wrath if an ally dies while the skill is on cooldown. So it's gonna be changed to resets the Deadly Wrath if an ally or enemy dies while the skill is on cooldown. Okay, I don't think that's broken, but okay. Then we have what's his name? Um, Mananan Sea Emperor, the dark one. Inflicts continuous damage for one turn to all enemies excluding the target. What? So how do you inflict continuous damage on for one turn on all enemies excluding the target? So basically, um, the monster that you target won't get the continuous damage. That I think that's what it's saying. Then we have Dark Ryu, PPK combo. I believe this. The day I believe the dark, um whatever is is a striker yeah the dark striker i think this uh, goes for the dark striker as well so ppk combo one to three it decreases the enemy's target attack bar by 30 percent each now it's a strip okay goody striker oh yeah 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 on the in wind light now this is interesting Grants Oblivion effect for two turns with a 100% chance. Am I to understand that this is an irresistible Oblivion? So as long as there isn't any presence of immunity? Is that what it is? Interesting. Wonder and light. Interesting. I have a light on Dean, I think. Then we have the water lights of a strong gust, stuns for one turn with a 50% chance. Like, okay, fair. Civil fire sacrifice decreases the top bar by 15% to 25%. Okay, so this thing decreases the top bar. I didn't know that. <laughs> water Sifil, Sifild, 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 Healing Breeze. Decreases the cooldown of healing breeze by one turn if there are no harmful effects on the ally. Unconditionally decreases the school count effect of all target by one turn. Okay. That's what it's changed to. Okay. Wind Sifil, 4th field. So the shield amount is going to be 
30%. Okay, fair enough. Blessed of the Light grants immunity for one turn to all allies with full HP after recovering HP. Oh, so the order of things change. Okay. Rune Blacksmith Fire. So her buff, her passive is going to change from 25% to 35%. So all you copper fans are are they you know who use khaki and all those kind of things so that's a small buff to you all when you use her with so we have equipment polishing water so it's going to be changed to when an enemy resists a harmful effect increases so the increases from 10 to 20 percent okay and when an ally okay all right nothing major there water dark armful armoring so armful effect activation rate is 85 percent maybe this is a hundred percent top of the buff i don't know and then we have that great thing going on for three turns uh, blah, 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 blah. it's not op fire wind lightning beneficial armoring at increases attack power and defense and grants shield for all allies if great is activated for two turns and it's gonna be three turns okay then we have the light rune blacksmith overall additionally reduces the skill cooldown of all allies by one third okay fire kung fu girl i didn't even like are these still a thing so fire one stuns effect added okay water one decrease defense for two turns okay light remove beneficial effect okay fire twist quick okay so every one of them can basically activate their third skill okay with their second skill now okay nothing major there so then we have wind phoenix stats are changed to adjust for their type okay light fairy king this is an interesting one changes increases resistance by 25 percent and it's gonna go to crit rate Finally, I don't have a Light Fairy King, but kudos to all who has a Light Fairy King out there. You got a small buff. I'm sure the 15% crit rate is more valuable than the resistance. And then we have Description Changes. Okay. Eh, overall, I'd say like, because the Nana nerf is in it, I think it's safe to say this is a really good balance patch. Like the two key units from this is nana being nerfed i think the wind pioneer and the wind sylphid no the wind undine those are the three and then masha the beast rider i think those four are the four game changers so anyways guys i'm gonna make a video when the patch drops i'll make a video on all of these monsters at least the ones that i have and try them out and see how great they are so anyways, thank you for watching. Peace out. See you all in the next video.